Faith wants to know, if forests maintain the crumb structure, how do we get crumb structure in our annual gardens? What is the practical use of this thinking outside of forest gardening? There are no trees in the kitchen garden or the main crop fields. Are we not trying to build crumb structure? Yeah, all plants produce crumb structure. It's not just forests, all plants. So all these plants are creating crumb structure in the soil. Um, and um, it's not just where they're fungal dominated soils, but it's all the soils because it's the bacteria that interacts with the plants sticking up the little crumbs and those little crumbs are, are formed with the starch the plants make with photosynthesis and 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 they're needed in with the bacteria because they're so small you need a 600 times microscope to see the bacteria in the soil and if you if they weren't building little colonies uh, which create the crumb structure they just get washed through so the bacteria secure their position in the topsoil with crumb, with that crumb structure and it starts from the plants that allows them to achieve that and that happens all the way through all our soils so if i if i just dig down here um, i've got crumb structure straight away there's crumb structure here little balls of crumb structure uh, underneath any of the garden and you'll find that when you're um, under perennial ground covers, any of these, this is Brahmi, a ground cover Brahmi, um, but any of these ground covers, if you dig into a ground cover, whether it's sweet potato, whether it's Singapore daisy, whether it's ice plant, it doesn't matter. Any perennial ground cover is like a trap for organic matter that might fall. Someone's left some parsley behind, look at that. Uh, um, but anything that falls into a ground cover stays in it's like a trap and then inside there there are lots and lots of crumb structure soils all through the surface layer